you guys. It is time for episode 80 of Happy Healthy Meals with Lisa Auger. I am Lisa Auger, your happy, healthy host. Um, most days, I would say that's completely true. Today, I, um, as a nation, we are going through some really tough things. Um, I am a little sad today. It's taken more effort than normal just to do normal things. Um, not to eat, of course, because I eat when I'm happy. I eat when I'm hungry, when I'm sad. I eat when, I don't know, it's cold or it's hot, whatever. But for some reason doesn't get affected by me, uh, for me. It just gives me different cravings. Um, hi friend. But, um, I know that it is tough right now, but I am resolved to control my tiny corner of the world. I am resolved to focus on um, my family and um, giving love and support where I can. And so uh, one of those things is taking in positive uh, messaging and then also giving out positive messaging and then supporting um, what you can with healthy meals, right? Um, as much as I would love to go stuff my face with a giant cheeseburger and fries or zucchini fries. <laughs> that actually sounds really good right now. Um, I'm going to stick to my plan. I'm going to feed my body what it needs to be amazing. I am going to let it keep my head clear. I am uh, going to encourage you guys to do the same, to stay hydrated, to eat those veggies, even if you dip them in a crazy amount of cheese. Um, I just, this is not the time to give up. Um, this is the time to stand up and be the shining light of hope. So be that shining light of hope. Be a little bit extra positive today. Um, and just maybe even try something new because it'll take your mind off of everything. So, uh, here's what I have for you this week. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about carbs. I'm going to tell you, uh, and I'm going to tell you what carbs I'm having this week. Um, I want to talk about a couple of things about carbs and how we need them. And, um, and then, you know, just whatever comes to my mind, whatever comes to my mind. But I do want to focus on carbs, right? Because there are a lot of different theories on carbs. Um, you can go crazy low carb. You can go medium carb. You can do carb cycling. You can, um, just cut them completely, which is really difficult. Um, you can, um go really heavy with them. Some people love them some carbs, right? I know my child would live on pasta if I let her. So, you know, there's lots of different theories, but the truth is, and, um, what I find interesting is that your body needs them. Your body just needs healthy versions of them, complex versions of them. So when I say complex carbs, when I'm talking about that healthy, health, happy, healthy meal, like the plate, happy, healthy plate that I talk about all the time, where it's one green veggie, one bright veggie, a lean protein, a complex carb, and a healthy fat. Um, I'm talking about something that is whole. I'm talking about something that has not been processed or has been minimally processed, right? Because you chopping and cooking it, that's minimally processed, still processed, if you're not taking it out of the ground and snacking on it. But it is um, processed by you. And so what I, when I'm talking about processed carbs and avoiding processed carbs, I'm talking about things that are processed in a factory. So, um, and like in mass quantity. So like, um, hey friend, so like pastas and, um, breads and cookies and like packaged, anything packaged. Um, that's not to say that there aren't some really great pasta options out there. That's also not to say that if you make fresh pasta, that that's bad for you. I'm saying that you, the flour you use to make those is refined. And so all the good stuff that was in that wheat and whatever has been taken out. And so yes, those are awesome parts of your delicious, I should say parts of your meal plan, but maybe they should be less. And maybe we should focus on whole carbs. Um, that have not been processed in a factory, that have not been put in a box, that um, are processed by you at home and um, or by a restaurant fresh for you. Um, so things like that are 
that are easy are brown rice, and yes, I know that comes in a box, but you know what I mean. You can't just go buy a grain of rice, right? Uh, sweet potatoes or potatoes, great, great sources. Um, oats, oats are awesome. Yes, they have been slightly processed, but if you buy the ones that are um, old fashioned, they haven't been processed as much. Um, so things like that, right? Uh, so this week, I'm going to make spaghetti squash. I am making um, quinoa. I am high friend. I am making um, polenta because that's corn and it has been ground, so it's minimally processed. Um, and then one night this week, I'm going to have sourdough because yes, I do eat processed stuff. Uh, I just keep it small amounts, right? So I'm surrounding that one night of sourdough goodness with all these other things, right? So, um, so let's say like tonight, tonight I'm going to make quinoa and I'm going to put it over some cauliflower steaks. So I bought a full head of cauliflower. I'm going to slice it up into like quarter inch to half inch slices. I'm going to lay it on a cookie sheet. I'm going to spray it and I'm going to roast it for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cover it in a little bit of a spray. I'm gonna cover it in a little bit of um, this veggie spread that I have, and then I'm going to sprinkle it with feta and let it like brown on top and melt. So um, that takes about 10 minutes in the oven at about 400. So I'm gonna do that. And then on top of that, I am going to put quinoa, which is lovely already pre-done from Trader Joe's, um, and I'm going to chop up some spinach, Oops. spinach, and put that in there so it all wilts together. It's all really pretty, um, and we'll go from there. Oh, I'm going to cook it in the oil from artichokes, and um, I'm going to put these art put some of these artichokes and then some frozen artichokes that aren't in this oil. Um, because I really like to snack on these. So I like to use them sparingly for flavor only. Um, so it'll be a good mix. Um, so I'm adding artichokes to this quinoa that already has zucchini and I think uh, sweet potatoes in it. Um, but then the greens is my spinach and the cauliflower is here. So I have a really good mix of everything that's going on and my healthy fat is the oil from this and the cheese, the feta cheese that I'm going to put on the cauliflower when I bake it. Um, so that's my healthy plate for tonight. Um, tomorrow I will be doing um, baked enchiladas. So what that means er, for me tomorrow is that I'm going to do like an enchilada mix, but I'm going to put it in a spaghetti squash. And so that's our carb for the night. Um, and then I'm going to do a chopped salad with that. And then um, the next night I'm going to do Brussels and sausage on polenta waffles. Uh, after that, I'm going to make sloppy joes and a, I think I'm gonna make a lemon arugula salad with, um, it wasn't white beans, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, it was a lemon arugula salad of some sort. I don't remember the entire recipe off the top of my head. And then um, the night after that, I'm going to make pizza. And this is all if we stay home. I have a couple things that might happen, might take us out of the house, but oh well, we'll support local and it'll be awesome. Um, but so back to how many carbs, because this is great. Your plan is awesome, right? Um, how much can I eat of it? So most carbs, it's like half a cup to a cup, depending on, you know, what size person you are, how active you were, uh, what time of the day it is, um, how many carbs you've had all day, right? I like to save my, uh, um, a good chunk of my carbs, a good chunk of my carbs, um, for my meal at night because it helps me sleep. I've just found that that works better for me and I've tried it at different times of the day. Um, if you want to count your carbs, you can you generally be around 125 up to 150 and count that as what you wanna be, where you wanna be. Um, when you start to go lower than that, that's considered low carb and then super low carb is where you go to 20 to 50 grams and um, when you're down by, by, by that 20 mark, 20, 25 mark, that's where it would be considered like keto, like, um, like that ultra low carb 
super, you have to have super high fat if you're going to do that, um, sort of a diet. Uh, and you just got to find what works for you. I know that that meal plan doesn't work for me. I don't sleep well. I get really cranky. It is not good. So, uh, when my, so my mom, my parents are keto. When I go there for dinner, I usually bring my own carbs, uh, for me and my family cause we need them. And, uh, while keto meals are totally delicious, uh, I need some carbs in my life. Um, or I'll eat some before or after, depending on the day. So you just kind of make it work and balance it out through the day. And then whatever happens in your day is whatever happens in your day. Um, if you are wanting to log it, uh, I have a really awesome journal that helps you. Um, you kind of write down what you ate, you write down how you felt, and then you kind of learn from yourself. You can go back and look at how you felt on each thing and know that, ooh, half cup of rice, good. But when I go whole cup of rice, I am bloaty and not feeling good. So try to um, gauge where you feel good. And if you want info on that uh, journal, I can totally send it to you. I will be putting it in the show notes and then I will also be putting a link to it in the Happy Healthy Meals Facebook group. If you are in the group or if you want to join it, it's uh, facebook.com slash happy health or slash groups slash happy healthy meals. And uh, there's a couple questions you got to answer to get in and that's it. That's all I ask of you. Um, I will swap you your email for some recipes. And if you want to be on my email list, I send a recipe out every week uh, along with a link to this podcast and uh, more notes actually. Um, I do put some things in the show notes on you know the podcast app, but a lot of times I will add lots of info and more links to recipes plus a recipe for me um, in that email. So you definitely wanna be on that list. Um, and then I'm posting every day in the Happy Healthy Meals Facebook group um, the inspiration recipes for my meal plan. And I post the meal plan every week too, so that you know ahead of time what I'm gonna make and what to expect. Um, people ask questions, it's really awesome. In fact, if you guys wanna ask questions here, I totally encourage it. Um, hey friend, thank you so much for joining. Um, and you know, I'm just gonna keep this episode short because today is, it has been a rough day. Um, and I kind of feel like we all need to really focus on what matters. And um, while eating healthy matters, I want you guys to actually go eat something healthy. Go cook something healthy. Go fuel your body so that you feel amazing and you can handle whatever is coming your way, emotional or physical. And I wish you all so much safety and so much happy in your lives tonight. Um, and with that, I am gonna pray for you and pray for everything that is going on. Um, and so I hope that you will bow your heads with me. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for these folks who have joined me tonight. Thank you for everyone who is watching or listening. Lord, be with them, keep them safe, make their meals delicious and healthy, and make it give their bodies energy, uh, give them clarity through it, and let it nourish their whole body. Let it heal them if they need it. Let it give them the joy that you can feel just through a meal. It's funny how love can be felt through food. Um, Lord, thank you for providing for each and every one of these fine folks. Thank you for uh, giving them the skills to prepare it for their families. And uh, Lord, I just hope that you will be in this place with us and calm the hearts of so many surrounding us that need it right now. In your name I pray, amen. And I just want to say thank you guys for being here again. And I will see you next week on Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. Don't forget to join the group or my email list. And, uh, and to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.